Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemistry 24 into 7. In this series, we have been exploring the solution for previous year's competitive exam papers. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification. Let's see what's today's problem. Today, we are going to tackle a question from CSR 2024. According to this question, so here we need to find out the correct sequence of reagent to the transformation of this substrate into this corresponding, this product. So here you see there are four options. Let's find out together which one is the correct option for this question. Let's see the first reaction condition. The condition is peroxyacetic acid. So normally peroxyacetic acid can promote the two kind of reaction such as epoxidation and bayer willigar oxidation. The selectivity of either epoxidation or bayer willigar oxidation mainly depends on the what condition being used, but under this condition, bayer willigar oxidation only predominate. So according to bayer willigar oxidation, the oxidative cleavage of carbon-carbon bond adjacent to the carbonyl, which converts ketone to ester and cyclic ketones to cyclic lactones. So let's see our substrate. So our substrate is cyclic ketone. So definitely which will produce corresponding cyclic lactone product. Now you see here, there are two sites are present in the cyclic ketone. So now you will have a question, which side oxygen going to insert? It's simple. So here you should find the most substituted carbon. So according to this, this one is a most substituted carbon. Therefore, this side only oxygen going to insert. So resulting that produce this corresponding cyclic lactone product. So now you come to the next reaction condition, which involves the two normal sulfuric acid. So yeah, particularly this reaction is known as bayer willigar oxidation. So the next step, which involves the two normal sulfuric acid. So now you see this one is a cyclic ester that is lactone so when you treat under acid that quickly undergo acid hydrolysis or ester hydrolysis which produce this corresponding hydroxy carboxylic acid so this hydroxy carboxylic acid still present in the acidic medium so for our convenience we can redraw this structure into this form so before that you just put the numbering so here you see, here you start with number 1, then followed by this position will end up with 6. So first position holding hydroxy group and fourth position holding this corresponding car car carboxylic acid unit. So here you should note it down the stereochemistry also. So according to this, so here you see this hydroxy groups pointing down as well as this group also pointing down. Therefore, when you convert into this structure, so here you see this hydroxy group pointing down as well as this one also pointing down. So I already said this intermediate also present in the acetic medium. So now you see this hydroxy group readily protonate by using acid which leads to produce this corresponding intermediate. So now you see what happened. So this electron quickly so this electron quickly shift here then followed by this pi electron attack this pi bond then followed by this pi electron shifted here which kick off the water molecule so because of this protonation which makes that this position is electron deficient therefore this attacks sequence of attacks takes place which produce this corresponding cyclic lactone intermediate for our convenient we can redraw the structure like this so the next reaction condition which involves the use of LDA so let's recall the role of LDA so LDA is a non-nucleophilic sterically hinted strong base that readily abstract the proton from less hinted acetic position we have already discussed LDA and their application in two parts but if you missed that video, don't worry, you can find the link in the description box. So let's come to the our substrate. So here you see, so 
So this position has acidic position. Therefore, when you use LDA, which readily abstract the one of its proton to produce this corresponding enolate ion. So after the generation of enolate ion, which is going to react with methyl iodide, here you see. So this electron shifted here, then followed by this electron attacks this methyl group, then followed by kick of I minus to produce this corresponding alkylated or methylated intermediate. So here you should note it down the stereochemistry of this reaction since the bottom phase is highly sterically crowded. When you compare to the top phase, the top phase only occupied by two hydrogen atom. Therefore, the top phase is completely free. Therefore, this methylation takes place by the top phase to produce this corresponding intermediate. So the next reaction condition which involves the use of tribal hatch so Tybal has one of the electrophilic reducing agent which selectively reduce the ester or nitrile into corresponding aldehydes and similarly lactones into lactals and similarly alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds to corresponding allylic alcohols under lower temperature. So let's come to the our substrate. So here you see when you treat with dipole H under minus 78 degrees Celsius. So which partially reduces this corresponding ester into this corresponding carbonyl compound. So here you see this one is here aldehyde. So this aldehyde here hydroxy group, this hydroxy group readily attack this carbonyl which result that produce this corresponding product. According to the set of reaction condition which clearly indicates that the first set of reaction condition most probably a correct answer for this question. So however, we should see the other reaction condition such as 2, 3, 4. Then only we can confidently say this reaction condition is perfectly matched for this transformation. So let's moving on. Second uh, reaction condition, which involves the dibolic hatch under minus 78 degrees Celsius and peroxyacetic acid, and then followed by two normal sulfuric acid and third step, which involves the LDA and followed by methyl iodide. So let's see when you use dibolic hatch. So dibolic hatch potential to reduce the carbonyl as well as aldehyde into the corresponding alcohol. So therefore, when you use Tybal catch, which quickly produce this corresponding alcohol product, then when you use peroxyacetic acid, so here you see, there is no keto group. So only the alkene only the present in this intermediate. Therefore, when you use peroxyacetic acid, that may possibly uh, do epoxidation reaction. So once you do the epoxidation reaction, it is really impossible to achieve our corresponding product. Therefore, this set of are this sequence of reaction not suitable for this corresponding transformation. Let's moving on our third reaction condition. So our third reaction condition exactly same such as the first uh, reaction sequence. The only the difference is the here only. So here you see once you finish the two normal sulfuric acid reaction then followed by if you do the dipole hatch. So here you see when you do the dipole hatch which readily produce this corresponding acetal product only or lactal product only. Once, once you reach this corresponding intermediate, it is impossible to produce the corresponding final product by using LDA and methyl iodide. Therefore, this set of reaction conditions also not suitable for this transformation. So next to moving on our final reaction condition, which involves the use of LDA in the first step and second step, which involves the Tybal catch and third step peroxyacetic acid and followed by the acid reaction. So now you see when you use LDA, so here you see there are two active side. So this side also has one proton, but according to LDA, LDA mostly takes the proton from the less hinted side. Therefore, so here you see, this site only unilate will generate then followed by methylated react to produce this corresponding methylated intermediate. So when you use dibol catch, which readily produce this corresponding alcohol product. So after that, when you use peroxyacetic acid, most probably that produce this corresponding epoxidation uh, reaction. Therefore, this set of or sequence of reaction also not suitable for this particular transformation. So based on our discussion, 
so here you see the first reaction sequence only the most correct answer for this question in turn the problem step by step and understanding the each reaction condition we have identified the correct product successfully i hope this explanation ha has helped you your understanding this particular question if you enjoyed this video please do a nice gesture and hit the like button and we stay motivated to creating a more much content for you and finally don't forget to subscribe to kem orgam and thanks for watching bye bye